you think it's really made these opportunities kind of spring about for you? Uh, just the game got faster, and so I think for me, I just kept growing in the game. And so I just found ways to get better, to make my teammates. When did you know that Gardner-Webb was your school? When did you know that that was going to be where you're going to end up? Like, this is such a cliche story, but as soon as I walked onto the campus, I knew. I just had a feeling of home and at peace. Mm -hmm. And then uh, who's one of your biggest sports ro role models who have kind of taken you, you know, you've, have you taken their story to kind of mm -hmm. fuel your fire a little bit? So it's Sammy Jo Swenson. She's a setter at Minnesota University. Okay. And the reason why I look up to her so much is because, like, she is a Christian athlete, and so she always puts God first, and she's always, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, always inspiring others to always put God first, and, like, mm -hmm. she's taking her Christian life into her sports. Right. And then when you first started talking to colleges, what were your sort of feelings towards becoming a recruit? It was really stressful. Like, nobody <laughs> understands this, like, the stressfulness that a recruiter or someone who's getting recruited goes through yep. because you're just constantly contacting them, but you get no feedback right. unless they really want you or they, or they know you. So it's difficult, but I just keep looking at like the end, like end of the tunnel kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, and then what are some of the things that you've done uh, to kind of take the pressure off of committing or even just talking to coaches? So to take the pressure off, I've just kept keeping faith in myself and in the plan that I have like for me yep. and just kept working hard on the court and being myself, having a personality on the court and like the way I talk to girls, like being a true leader. Right. That's good. And then what's been your favorite part of the recruiting process so far? Oh, definitely the relationships I created. Mm -hmm. So like the coaches from other colleges that I've talked to before, right. I still like, I'm still in communication with them and like, they're like, oh, if you need help with anything, like, please let us know. Mm -hmm. And they're always texting me, hey, good luck in your season. Yeah. So just like the relationships I created from it. I'm sure that it's been a, a tough journey for you, but have you ever had any times just in your life as an athlete where you've wanted to quit and just kind of mail it in really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I have tons like. What's the next step for you um, after your college athletics time is over? So I've thought about that a lot and you know, I'm going to college. I'm playing volleyball in college because like I'm trying to get an education. Yep. And so I really want to go into speech pathology. Okay. And so with that, I would love to go teach in school and like work with ed like elementary school kids okay. and yeah That's just awesome. like get a job and you know a cliche story start <laughs> right. a family <laughs> <laughs> um, and then what are some words that you like to say to your fellow classmates and teammates now that you made the decision to go to Gardner Webb University to just love every moment no matter if you're going through a good time or a hard time just enjoy the moment and every experience you go you go through take a lesson from it because mm -hmm. it's only going to help you in the long run. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Sophia. I yeah. appreciate your time. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we will hopefully see you with our next interview very soon. My name is Luke Holden from WSLE and beastnews.org signing off.